What's up everyone, it's Roger here from ThisKingdom.com. It is Wednesday, it is time for your This Kingdom daily news, so let's jump into it. Okay, kicking things off, we have got some kind of weird news that I wasn't really expecting. Um, Disney are going to be remaking the classic uh, movie Splash. Um, this movie was a huge hit back in the 80s. It was directed by Ron Howard, had um, Daryl Hannah in it, had um, Tom Hanks. Great movie, one of my favorite movies as a kid. They're going to be remaking it, um, but they're going to be sort of twisting it because they're going to be bringing in um, Channing Tatum as the, basically, he's going to be the merman. So they're kind of completely changing up, flipping it all on its head. I hope it doesn't go down the same way that it happened with Ghostbusters when this happened recently. But I kind of think maybe not quite so bad on this one. I mean, in some ways, when I heard this, I was like, okay, that's a little bit different. But then it dawned on me. Um, Universal are making a live-action version of The Little Mermaid. Disney are making a live-action version of uh, The Little Mermaid. So maybe Disney doing this as Splash with a merman um, will actually also bring in a light, slightly different role. I'm wondering if they're going to make it a little bit more comedy because it's kind of being worked with his co-star, um, Gillian Thumb. And 22 Jump Street. And Ron Howard is going to be executive producer on this as well. Haven't announced a director yet. But I think if they can get the humour right, they can maybe have a little bit of fun with this, of having it flipping around. And I also think, you know, there's also that selling point of using um, Channing with his top off. Because let's be honest, um, while I haven't seen Magic Mike, um, I know a lot of the girls at the office have been talking about it. But um, I think it's kind of cool to do it. I must admit, the first time I was thinking sort of, um, you know, a merman, I was kind of thinking, well, would be a little bit maybe more interesting if we saw him as Aquaman or um, Nemo, because that would be kind of cool for Marvel to do something with Nemo. But he's going to be playing Gambit, so there's loads of other bits of pieces going on. I thought this was kind of quite interesting. I quite like the idea of them doing something kind of a bit different, maybe also having a little bit of fun with this one and really making it a good comedy. And I think so it was this kind of initial reaction. I think a lot of people are going, well, leave this, leave the remakes. And, but, but they could re completely do this on an entirely different level and really kind of mix things up and have a little bit more fun with it with kind of the road reversed. And I think that could be really cool. So I'm kind of intrigued by it. Um, I'm waiting to see a little bit more on it. But yeah, first thoughts don't seem too bad. Okay, so Disney have announced um, a new attraction is going to be coming to Typhoon Lagoon at Walt Disney World. They're going to be bringing out a new attraction in the spring. It's in next year. It's called uh, Miss Fortune Falls. It is a brand new um, attraction. It's going to be the longest sort of raft ride at the parks. Um, I think this is great. Um, the actual park is going to be closed from Christmas Day this year right through till March. So they've got a few months where they can kind of really get in and kind of get some of the work done and kind of finish it up and get ready. Unlike the other parks which don't close when they're doing refits like the Star Wars Land stuff, they have to do it around everyone. They can really just crack on and do this because they've got a few months to kind of get in there. Wouldn't surprise me if they've also been doing bits and pieces beforehand. The Miss Fortune Falls will be a family-style raft attraction that takes guests on a splashing journey through the fabled Captain Mary Oceana Pass. Legend has it that the Captain Oceana, a travel-hunting heroine, travelled across the sea collecting unique artefacts before she became stranded at Typhoon Lagoon many years ago by a rogue storm. On board Treasure Rast, guests will be ascended to the top of the attraction before plunging to a, to a whitewater adventure where they'll be able to spot some of the treasures Captain Oceana gathered from around the world. And it'll be about a two-minute ride, and it'll be one of the lengthiest attractions at both of the water parks but i'm really excited about this um typhoon lagoon and blizzard beach are fantastic locations um i loved visiting there on my last trip to world disney world and i do think adding more um items to this park are a great idea and like i said you know a brand new attraction coming to typhoon lagoon in 2017 is not a bad thing at all and i'm really looking forward to seeing this at some point in the future Continuing on with some Walt Disney World news. In either one of those stories that either you'll be going, why is this a big deal? Or you are in complete outrage or you are completely over the moon with it. But Disney have kind of brought in new handleless mugs at the uh, uh, Saratoga Springs Resort. These are refillable mugs. When you go to the event, um, location, you go there and you pay your dollars and you get your, your lovely refillable mug. And the whole time you're on your trip, you every time you go through, you get yourself in some nice soft drink now they have apparently removed the the handles from the sides and it's kind of caused a little bit of a thing you got a lot of people that really really love the idea that they've taken them away because they're gonna be able to put them in their strollers put them in their cars and use them when they're away from the parks 
And then you got other people saying, well, no, how am I going to handle, you know, four or five, you know, because you've got a big family and you've got four or five of them. I know myself when I was on my last trips, when you know, whenever you had them, you know, you could kind of hook them into your hand or on the handles and do some, you know, get your food or do whatever else you needed to at the same time. So it's a bit odd. I mean, this could be a way for Disney to save money. It also could just be um, a, just a way of kind of making them less and less or cheaper for people. But it doesn't look like they're changing the price of it. I do think Disney should maybe offer both so you can kind of pick. Um, while for me, at the place, I did think having the handles on it did make it a lot easier moving them around. But they would take up a bit more space. So there's very much kind of a real kind of reaction to this kind of thing of whether or not you want to like your handles or not when you're on a trip to Walt Disney World. Maybe if you're not going to Walt Disney World, you really don't care less. But let's just say between the Walt Disney World community, this has been a pretty hot topic. Okay, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are on YouTube. Give us a like as well. And if you are on Facebook, you can also give us a like as well to keep up with the latest fun, DizKingdom.com. If you're on the audio versions, you can subscribe there too. And you've got to admit, this has been a little bit of a splash of a show. Lots of water-related stuff. It's almost like it's August, the middle of the summer, and we all want to try and keep cool. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button again, and as I said, check out thiskingdom.com, and I shall see you guys in a later video. Laters!